I think they can, uh, prices are about 20%, right? Well, if the uh, United Nations agency is right, looking at the impact of the Ukraine war, those prices are going to go up at least another 20%. Hard to say. This much we already know over the course of the past year, uh, food costs have been rocketing, and uh, apparently this war situation is going to keep them rocketing. Stu Leonard Jr. Uh, is the guy behind Stu Leonard's. It's a very popular grocery store in the New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, tri-state area. But I, I don't think grocery store does it justice. They have a lot of cool stuff. Uh, Stu is the guy behind it. It's sort of like a cult following. I mean that in a good way. Um, Stu, uh, you know, you always try to help your customers and how they deal with this. Uh, you know, they have to pivot. They have to go. If, if one price of meat is going up the, the, to an alternative, but they're kind of running out of options. What do you tell them? Yeah. Well, you know, Neil, right now, being in the retail business, I, I feel like I'm between a rock and a hard place right now. Over on one side, I have our farmers, our fishermen saying, hey, I got to fill my boats up. I got to fill my tractors with fuel and the costs have gone up. You know, my labor's gone up. So I'm getting this on this side. And then on the other side, I have all these customers in the store that we're trying as hard as we can to keep the prices as low and absorb as much as we can. So our margins are less than they were. I'm telling the farmers and ranchers, look, I'll split it with you 50-50 and let's see if this supply demand uh, thing's going to work itself out a little bit over time. But, you know, you're, you're very popular and, and, and obviously you, you have a, a number of stores, but you're not, you're not a shop, right? You're, 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 you're not a Publix. I mean, you don't have that kind of price leverage. Uh, so how do you counter that? What, obviously, it's experience your stores, and there's a lot of neat stuff there. I've been in them many times myself. How do you deal with that to counter that? Well, actually, we do have leverage. You know, we do, you know, our family, it's a family business, but we do over a half a billion dollars a year. And we're getting 100 tractor trailers every week into our store, uh, plus 100 small farmers uh, that are probably delivering uh, a smaller local goods. So we have leverage, but, you know, do you want to use your leverage now? I don't want to squeeze a farmer too tight. Um, look, they got families, and they're trying to make it themselves, and I can be tough and, and, and say I'm not accepting a price increase. But, you know, we're just absorbing as much as we can, and I'm hoping this thing will resolve itself over the next few months. But how are your customers now, dealing with it? There's only so much you could absorb, Stu. So what are your customers yeah. doing these days for themselves? You know what? They're almost numb right now. I mean, they've seen you. They've seen so many of these shows right now about prices increase. I mean, it, 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 it's, like they, it's like gas right now. They almost are numb to the fact. I just talked to Brian Miller, who was the restaurant critic for the New York Times for 12 years, just stopped in. He came over here to visit, and he spent over $100 to fill his car up. It's the first time it ever happened. So wow. things like that, I think people are, like, you hear Biden speak and, and, and hear the government officials speak about price increases. And I think everybody's, it's tough out there right now, but they're, you know, we're doing as little of it as we can, but but we haven't heard any complaints. Nor do I think you will. I mean, you really have their back, and, and, and they're loyal. They're very, very loyal. Um, uh, just don't get hey. rid of the bakery products. If you even think of doing that, <laughs> Stu, we're done. We're done. Yeah. Hey, Neil, Neil, you know what? Just yeah. a few tips for people. I'd say use your freezer now. Buy food like you would a stock. Because with everything going on in Ukraine and Russia and everything, they do a third almost a third of all the wheat and corn and stuff and in the world. And so you really have to expect right. sort of this food thing. So, so use your freezer. The second thing is don't be afraid to go to private label. You can save 10, 20, 30 percent sometimes for the same item. So, so don't worry about it. And the third one, which I don't hope none of my managers hear me say this, is have a shopping list when you come in because, you know, we want you to try and buy and taste stuff. Uh, but but you shouldn't be doing that right now. You should really stick to your shopping list. Now, here's one thing I'm going right. to try to do. Look at, you'll love this, a new product at the store. Real Look quick, at this. Stu. Put, Putin's Punch. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> How do you like that one? You can't, you can't freeze that one. You can't freeze that one. All right, Stu Leonard, Jr., no, thank you, you, you very, very much.
No, you can't. You can't. And then I'm wondering about Napoleons. Can you freeze Napoleons? I don't know. All right. Thank you, Stu, very, very much.